Hey, it's Spyro at BinaryCord.org, and welcome to my first installment of Achievement Challenge. Now, if you don't know what that is, uh, Blaze came up with this idea a while ago. Uh, click on the screen, and you'll be taken to the video that he posted last week about um, what it is we're basically doing, which in short is getting our achievements at a higher percentage on games, because um, everyone wants to 100% a game, and it, it came to our attention that we are not doing very well on that. I was on 35%, which is a lot lower than I thought I would be on, and the idea was to get us up to 50 as the first sort of milestone. My first milestone maybe be 30, no, 40 really, to be honest. Um, but 50 is what we're aiming for. Um, so this week, the games I've been playing are Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which I've completed and I've just been doing achievements that I didn't get through the storyline. I'll be releasing a few videos on how to specifically get those achievements, like we do on Binacore. Um, but not all of them, because some of them are quite trivial. I can't believe I didn't get anyway. I've also been playing Spec Ops The Line. Great game. Uh, completed that. Um, got a load of achievements going through it, and we'll be going back and get a few more afterwards that may be in next week's one if I haven't included them in this one. Um, if you haven't played it, go play it, but don't look up about it before you play it, because the twists in it are brilliant. It'll make you rethink about COD-like games with a first person shooters, even though this one is third person cover based, um, and it'll make you think about war in a sad way it's not an enjoyable game I'd say but it's an engaging game and it was brilliant, I also played uh, Dead Island which was the game of gold uh, recently so I haven't got a box for that because it's a digital copy um, so I hope you enjoy this video, uh, if you want to join in with this challenge please do uh, reply, you know, put up a video response to how you're doing with your challenge or you know, just leave us a comment and let us know we'd love to hear from our fans or just anyone if they're trying to bring us up. So I'll leave you with all the achievements I got. Thanks. There are a few achievements I didn't get on my playthrough of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, so now I'm having to go back and get the ones that I missed. Now, one of the ones I missed, and one that a lot of people missed, is Redding Goat Up. In this one, you've got to make one of the outfits, and to do it, you've got to get the Red Howler Monkey fur, which is really hard to get, because the Red Howler Monkey only appears in one place, and it's the first island you go to, one of the first, um, and a lot of people miss it, so that one took a bit of work to do to figure out where the Howler Monkey is and I think I'm going to put up a, a video of how to get it in more detail. Another one was Seven Seas which is going to all of the shipwrecks that are out through the map. Um, you don't need to complete all of these sort of getting the chest and getting the, um, the Animus fragments, you just need to actually turn up to them so that was quite easy if you don't want to do all the swimming about just turn up. Um, Siren's Song, for this one I had to go back into a previous memory, it's one where you're hiring all the crew because it's quite easy to get it there, there's some dancing girls in front of you and you just send them over to the guards and then go rescue the pirates. And the last one uh, for Assassin's Creed 4 was Wild West Indies, now for this one you need to get the another set of guns, not the ones you start with, and use the multi-combo attack to kill four guards without getting hit in the combo. I also played uh, Freedom Cry, which is the DLC for it, uh, and the achievements I got on this, only two, is Firepower, uh, which is killing five people with the Bunder Blast, which is the awesome shotgun hand cannon thing you have, and also Liberation Day, which is liberate your first um, slave, which you do really early on, because most of this game is about liberating slaves. Dead Island is a game that I started a while ago. Um, wasn't my copy of the game, and that's why I had to stop playing. But it's now Game of Gold. It's free. Going to be playing through it, and I got one achievement: Survivor. Because I ended up playing with some other random people on the internet, as this game does. It's got a good way of pairing things up. So I randomly played with these people, saved their lives a lot because I'm like that, and got an achievement for it. But I am planning to continue on with this game, playing with Blaze and Lance, because. They haven't played it, and they want to get some achievements, and I want to get many more. Also, I want to start again, because I may have built my character wrong. So this is a good time to do it. Now stop. This is the part where you need to stop. If you haven't played Spec Ops, do not listen to all of this next bit, or even watch it, because no it's probably been quite spoilery. Because the majority of the achievements that I got are story-based, and some of them are to do with... not. I don't know really how to explain it, it's, it's not binary choices and it's not specifically moral choices uh, as in a good or bad, it's how you want to play the game and how the game has affected you, so you can watch it by sure if you want to, but it'd be much better for you not to do this and just go play the game. So as I said, a lot of them story based, 
Um, there's a few sort of skill ones going on in here that I happen to get playing through it. Like uh, Army of One was killing I think it's four people with one grenade. Um, that wasn't one I was trying to do. I just happened to lob a grenade and killed a load of people as they were clammed up. There's um, marksman achievements where you've got to get so many kills with so many types of weapons. So I think I get small arms, sniper, grenade and rifle. Uh, so I'm missing out on the heavy and the shotgun. Which I'm sure I'll get quite soon. That's one. He's dead. Um, what are the ones? It's aim high or high aim, which is about headshots. Recon, which connect. Uh, connecting, collecting some amounts of intel, which uh, the intel is good in this game. Uh, normally, one with sort of COD done. games, intel doesn't mean anything, you're just collecting it for the achievement. And this one actually gives you some sort of backstory about certain characters or more in depth about other things because it's all done by the, the DJ that you're chasing um, and it's interviews he's doing with people, so you get to learn about all this extra stuff. We have some cool achievements like um, preventative diplomacy, which is about shooting a guy just as he's throwing a grenade at you. So it's cleverly named. Um, yeah, and with the one I did, I'm pretty sure I killed a few people around him when he dropped the grenade. Another one that um was a bit difficult to get because I just didn't really know what the hell it was on about, is Deer Hunter. Now the name of the achievement kind of gives it away, it's kill a deer, but I couldn't see many deers around and the explanation of the achievement is um, kill an aurax. And I don't know what the hell this was, but it's these little gazelle-like things that you see at the beginning of the game. So just as you just as you start, you go look over a ledge before you get into sort of the highway with all the cars are, and there's a few of them just sitting by the side of the road, so crazy to get. Uh, but confusing because I had no idea what that word meant. And those are the achievements that I got over the past two weeks. Um, I'm planning to do this fortnightly, so over the next two weeks, all the achievements I gather, I'll edit like I have done with these. So a quick little snippet of what I got and try not be too spoilery for games like Spec Ops and there will be more on Spec Ops I'm sure of that. Um, yeah, and you can see how far I've got from last week. Uh, I'm on 36% at the moment and that's how I finished. Um, hopefully I'll have a higher percentage. The problem is if I start new games the percentage goes down unless I achieve more than 36% on that game. So wish me luck.